guys, we're here again with a new tutorial showing you how to install Google Chrome on your computer. Uh, this, if you don't know the difference between Google Chrome and Chromium, Chromium is just the Linux version of Google Chrome. And to we're going to be using the terminal way. To install it, you're going to have to head on into LX Terminal, which is an accessories. And once you've gone in, you would like to substitute the user to the root user which will be a, let, allow you to install things and then you would have to type in a password it's hidden for security purposes oops I've done that wrong sorry it's it, the password's hidden for security purposes um, and there you go and it's done and then it, then you have to type in aptitude if that's the right spelling yes it is um, and then space update and aptitude is like a almost a package helper almost um, I'm not really sure how to explain it but yeah it's just a package installer slash thing that you use for packages in Debian uh, it wait for the pack and it's just updating all the headers and the packages and security stuff as well as the sources and 5386 packages and there you go it's fetched and downloaded so there we want to type in the next command which will be aptitude install or aptitude space install install chrome browser uh, just let you know these will all be in the description but aptitude install chromium have you spelled that right yes browser dash browser sorry dash wait no there's no dash sorry about this and uh chromium and then you do a space and you're actually typing chromium browser again chromium dash browser again But this time, you're going to want to do another dash after it, and do and do L ten N, and L the L and the N are in lowercase, and you want to hit enter to that. It's basically saying aptitude after you've updated it, can you install the Chromium browser, and it's the L ten N version of it, and then it will say there's a uh, new packages will be installed. And it will say, uh, it might say you need some more space and just hit Y to that. Uh, and it should install everything. So, sorry about the TV in the background. And it might be for a few, but I've got some other internet, so it's take a bit of time. Two, one, zero. It should say fetched in 42 seconds, which is good. And now it is just selecting. It's basically going to select, deselect, and install and unpack the packages. And this is what the installation process is. Which is the reason it's it's, in, it's selecting all the process um, the packages that we've downloaded, unpacking them or deselecting them, different bits and getting ready for install. Then they'll process it through triggers like the mandate dash db and the menu triggers and it will set up all the Chromium browser inspectors and things and, L and the actual L10 browser itself and it will process uh, more, some more triggers for the menu and that is basically it. The and terminal is finished installing and downloading Google Chrome or Chromium. So, what you want to do is you want to go into Internet, and as you can see, Chromium web browser is there, which is Google Chrome basically. I or actually the proper way to exit out is to do is to exit out of root and exit out of the terminal. But I forgot to do that. Never mind.
Uh, so you're going to want to go into internet and home and open it and it will say make Chrome in the default world browser and import setting from things like Mozilla Firefox uh, which is the Ice Weasel and you're just going to click start Chromium. Ice Weasel will actually create by Mozilla Firefox and I don't like Ice Weasel, it's quite bad but Google Chrome is a good web browser. And here you go, it's, um, here you go, I'm going to use Google as the default uh, search engine. Uh, but yeah, my internet's really slow, so it might take a while to load. Uh, actually, I might uh, show you um, bbc.co.uk, because that's quite a good website to see whether that will work on Google Chrome and to prove you it's in some rubbish thing that doesn't work. Uh, and while it's loading, I just want to tell you thank you for watching my YouTube tutorial. I hope it helped you. And yes, as you can see, it's loaded and it works properly. Thank you for watching this YouTube tutorial and have a nice day.